Let me teach you how to download and install custom packs or resource packs or texture packs for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to getting a texture pack in Minecraft is to download a texture pack. Feel free to get any texture pack that you want. In this video, we're gonna use the Burbone texture pack, which is the one that you see in the trailer for Minecraft. If you wanna use the same one as me, click on the second link in the description and then you will follow along whatever I do. However, if you wanna download a custom or a different texture pack, just head over to Google and search for texture packs. You'll get a bunch of pages in here like Planet Minecraft, Curse I like using CurseForge a lot. Just choose whichever one you want and then go ahead and search for a texture pack within those pages. However, be careful because, you know, I don't know these pages, so you might be in the wrong place and you might download the wrong file. Just be careful if you're using some third party page. In this video specifically, we're going to use this one because we know it's safe. If you want to use the same one as me, again, just click on the second link in the description and scroll down and click where it says Mod Rinth. That redirects you over here where we're going to choose the 1.21 version of this skin. As you can see, if we select on the filter versions, it will say 1.21 and then we're going to go ahead and hit download and the download for this zip file will begin immediately. And while the texture pack is downloading, if you're looking for a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting is a perfect platform for you. You could create either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that will allow you to use your custom texture packs, whatever texture pack you're downloading, you could use with Apex Hosting. You have the ability to add over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button, and you could do all of that in less than five minutes. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could set up your server from your phone. Imagine just being able to create the server from your phone. You could be at Walmart and you could change the settings, kick people out, do whatever you want because it is your server. Server. Again, use that first link for 25% off and now let's keep going with the tutorial. All you have to do now is drag and drop that texture pack that we just downloaded into our desktop. As you can see, it is a zip file. Don't worry, you don't have to extract it. Just leave it as a zip file. Just go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now, as you can see, I just placed the file in my desktop. All you have to do now is launch your Minecraft launcher or your Minecraft game. It doesn't even matter. I actually already launched my Minecraft game and I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Once in your Minecraft game, head over to a single player or a multiplayer world because texture packs will work on both. However, be careful because using certain texture packs online Line could get you banned in certain servers if you're using like x-ray or brightness texture pack something like that could get you banned so i do recommend that you always ask for permission or create your own server using that first link in the description for 25 percent off with apex housing anyways once in the game just press escape head over to options click where it says resource packs and over here you have this menu i'm gonna go ahead and make it smaller and with this menu here all you have to do now is click where it says open pack folder that is going to open a folder that most likely will be empty for most of you if you have any other files in here don't worry those are just some other zip files some other texture packs and all you have to do now guys is drag and drop that file that we just downloaded into this folder in here just close out from this folder head back into the game and you will see that texture pack in here as you can see I have the bare bones texture pack and as you can see it's updated because i had the older one which is incompatible so i'm gonna go ahead and move that one out all you have to do to activate the texture pack is just click on this arrow that'll bring it over here and once it's over here just hit done give it a second for it to load depending on your computer and then once it's loaded just click on done back to the game and as you can see we have a custom texture pack in minecraft 1.21 so that is pretty much how to add custom texture packs or resource packs to the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.